हमारा प्रधानमंत्री नरेंद्र भाई मोदी जी द प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ इंडिया जो हमारा सबका विकास चाहते हैं ऑनरेबल एजुकेशन मिनिस्टर ऑफ इंडिया श्री रमेश पोखरियाल जी ऑनरेबल मिनिस्टर ऑफ स्टेट फॉर एजुकेशन श्री धोत्रे जी ऑनरेबल चीफ मिनिस्टर ऑफ आसाम सर्बानंद सोनोवाल जी मेंबर्स ऑफ द बोर्ड ऑफ गवर्नर्स ग्रेजुएटिंग स्टूडेंट्स एंड देयर फैमिली मेंबर्स प्रोफेसर सीतारामन डायरेक्टर ऑफ आई आई गवती मेंबर्स ऑफ द सेनेट फैकल्टी इनवाइटेड डिग्नेटरीज गेस्ट ऑफिसर्स एंड स्टाफ ऑफ द इंस्टीट्यूट एंड मेंबर्स ऑफ द मीडिया लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन नमस्कार इट इज माई प्लेजर टू वेलकम यू ऑल टू द ट्वेंटी सेकेंड कॉन्वोकेशन ऑफ आई आई टी गौहती एट द आउटसेट आई कॉन्ग्रेचुलेट ऑल द स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ दिस इनक्रेडिबली स्पेशल डे सेप्टेंबर ट्वेंटी सेकेंड टू टू जीरो टू जीरो आई होप यू ऑल हैव अ ग्रेट ट्रांसफॉर्मेशनल एक्सपीरियंस ड्यूरिंग योर स्टे एट आई आई टी गौहती my dear students for most of you you are now embarking on a new phase in life with more responsibility on your shoulders and soon added responsibility of your family and as you grow continue to recollect your happy times at the campus of iit gauhati life is wonderful enjoy all the moments as you grow and prosper wherever you travel in your journey of life i am sure that you all will have a great bright future ahead and always remember mera bharat mahan and so i want to say on behalf of all of you we are all very happy to have the honorable and well respected prime minister of our nation shri narendra bhai modi ji as the chief guest at the 22nd convocation of iit gauhati this is the first time in the last 25 years that the honorable minister prime minister of our nation has blessed such an event my dear students our country is clearly on a path of development and change for the betterment of all the citizens when the leader of a nation respects and puts priority on access to higher level of quality education for all its citizens good things are bound to happen history says that we lord such progressive policies and leadership the new india that we all have been dreaming about is bound to happen so welcome to all of you to this historic convocation at iit gauhati i also extend my love and respect to the parents and guardians of the graduating students who have supported their wards through their wonderful journey at the beautiful campus of iit gauhati hope your dream has come true your child has grown up and has the best education to make him or her a better adult to begin the adventure of life i am happy to be with you today and be part of the celebration i am also a father despite this institute being located in the northeast of india i have seen that it has been striving very hard during the last 25 years of existence and is now consistently ranked as a top institute of learning in india with global standing a number of graduating students has also increased manifold over the past few years clearly demonstrating the growth trajectory of iit gauhati this also shows the commitment of the faculty members and i extend my congratulations to each one of you all the faculty members and the support staff my dear faculty members let us teach and continue to give our best to these young indians let us all work closely with our research scholars and focus on development of cutting edge technology to make our country great dear faculty members let us do good research and publish in leading journals and online publications participate as thought leaders with breakthrough ideas and concepts in your areas of expertise in engineering sciences humanities i would like to note that some of our faculty members have even embarked on research and development in sustainable development projects in the northeast and the greater region surrounding it 
My dear students, you are extremely fortunate as we have been unfolding in front of us many, many opportunities which did not even exist a decade or so ago. India has been changing. India is developing and more so during the regime of the current government and to be precise, since 2014. So for the last six years, we have caught momentum. A lot has changed for the better and this is a Herculean task. My dear students, as you know, changing the attitude, influence, influencing the intention of a friend or a colleague or a loved one is a dream which many of us still think may come true. And here we have our national leadership already making these aspirational goals as real achievements. Changes which will be ingrained in our society and in our behavior. We are already seeing changing attitudes, changing intentions, and increase in patriotic behavior, and this is in the true spirit of an Indian. We look forward to a better India, a better world. India is changing, India is developing, my dear students, and as you will soon enter the robust economy where you are invited to participate in the Make in India movement, which means make in India, make for the world. A vision for a new India that is supported with policies which will catalyze the speed of development and growth of our economy. You are soon going to enter an ecosystem where in development of technology within our country will become the key driver of our growth. You IITians are trained to innovate as well as develop technology for India and for the world. You are invited to develop technology for improved productivity in agriculture, for improved quality and food technology, for improved apparent technology, apparent apparel technology, clothes technology, technology to improve health and wellness, and technology to ensure safety. This is the beginning of the era of knowledge economy in India. And all this is supported by the visionary leadership, efficient execution, and implementation by our beloved and respected Prime Minister Narendra Bhaiji Modiji. My dear students, your training at this wonderful campus of IIT Gavati, which gave you laurels as a Swachh campus among other campuses across the country. The same training will inspire you to join the millions of students and youth taking pledge for a clean India. Please contribute in making India clean by the 150th birth anniversary of Pujya Bapuji Mahatma Gandhi. It's our country. Never before in the history of independent India has a political leader given such a resounding and mature message of unity and inclusion. Sabka Saath, Sabka Vikas, Sabka Vishwas. The most important thing is that we have broken the myth that the growth of a caste, community, religion, village, city or sector has to be at the cost of the other. We have shown that development, upliftment and progress need not be a case of one against the other, but it can include everyone. We have demonstrated a country and a population to be an apostle of unity and inclusivity. A flagship National Health Protection Scheme of the Government of India will help to achieve the vision of universal health courage, coverage for the country with a sizable population of over 1.3 billion citizens. This initiative was designed on the lines on the lines so as to meet sustainable development goals and its undermining commitment is leave no one behind. It is called Ayushman Bharat. Welcome to New India, my dear students. Welcome to the new world, full of opportunities. So welcome to Atma Nirbhar Bharat. This is the new India. And it is this India, new India, filled with opportunities and possibilities that I wish all of you greatest of success. A lot of people are attending this online convocation today. And I urge my dear alumni of IIT Gavati, as you know, India has been changing, India has been developing. There has never been such a good time, a chedin. It is always good to give back. You have grown and gained experience. And in this era of digital and remote communication, do share your stories with your younger colleagues at IIT Gawati. Please give back 
to IIT Gawati. At IIT Gawati, we have begun the process to build a great center of learning in northeastern India, which will bring promise and growth for the future. With the cutting-edge research, we will develop technologies to support the Make in India movement. We will continuously upgrade our curriculum so that we, can, we make all learning relevant for today and the future. Get patents so that we can protect our innovation for the betterment of India and the world. We at IIT Gauhati are embarking on an era where we will focus our resources so that we are amongst the leading universities in the world, where our various departments and disciplines have among the best thought leaders in you, in the world, and with the research and development activities which will make us the nerve center for industry partnership. India is changing, India has been changing, India is developing, and we will make IIT Gavati a center of great learning. My dear students, you are trained at IIT Gavati. You will be the beacons of virtues, noble values, high standards, impeccable morality, the Indian ethics, and behavior of a global citizen. My dear students, these are changing times. And during these times, during global warming, we are seeing implications on climate. We are seeing the implication on forms of life. And due to the environmental distress, the changing climate is going to be more and more pronounced. In these changing times, we are also witnessing a pandemic. The pandemic that has changed the behavior of many and ruined the economy of many countries. The world has changed. What was considered as normal behavior is seen as an exception. When did we last see the ecosystem of live and let live? A society inspiring community and collaboration. Will there ever be the return of the Ram Rajya? I am confident and I know that your training at IIT Gawati has prepared you to enter into this new world. I am sure that you will be humble with your education. Please shine out in your career so that you make your family and your country proud of you. We want to be proud of you as alumni of IIT Gawati and also as citizen of India. You have a dream and I hope your experiences at IIT Gawati has equipped you to progress in achieving the goals of your life. I pray for you and I pray for your successful life. I have seen IIT Gawati more closely since the year 2016, beginning to make progress. In my judgment, we have just begun this adventure. Wonderful things are yet to happen. As Chairman of Board of Governors, I extend my congratulations once again to all the graduating students for receiving their degrees in this 22nd convocation of the Institute Online. I am privileged to be part of this historic, the 22nd convocation of IIT Gawati. Thank you. Jai Hind. May God bless India. Adi Om Shanti.